guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. Aaron. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Last time on, we had a bit of a diehard situation at a store with some Canadians. And uh, Boyle saved us all, so thank One you, One good villain. One good villain. Right here, that scar. He did. <laughs> Terry just things. picked up the vulture. Yes. Tossed him in the dumpster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he did. Um, you talking about good villains always have those scars. Right? There is. Like almost every like good villain has some kind of scar on their face. Like, yeah, like scar. Or they're like Darth half, Vader. Or they're half burned. Or scar. Scar's a good one. Like that's Zuko. You know, I guess Zuko. I guess Die Hard, honestly. Like, yeah. Like Die Hard. He didn't have he didn't have one. No. Right? Well you Rick don't had, want to scar Rickman. a face like that. Rickman didn't have he was no. just a he was like a rich pretty boy kind of thing yeah. almost. He had one like on his chest, maybe. We just never saw it. Maybe that could have been it. So But a lot of good villains, like they always got that you know, torn away. Harry Potter. Scar? Harry Potter, he has no nose. What? Yeah, sure. Which, that's yeah. a scar, I guess. It's kind of right? like a scar. It's like he no, did I mean, have a nose. Harry Potter. Oh. He's not a villain? He's not a... You ruined it! You need to watch yourself. I'm sorry. Cop. <laughs> All right. Let's everybody just stay calm here. Oh, oh, what? No Are you going to arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? What? No, God. This. No way. Is dancing. No way. What is happening? I'm like, there's no way we're going to I'm defusing the situation. Dancing over. Situation diffused. No! <laughs> Alright, it didn't quite go as far as I thought it was gonna go, but <laughs> you guys were like, no. <laughs> no. As you might see him start doing like oh, he did a somersault through a window. Yeah, right? We <laughs> dove through. Go. You don't know. We're trying to have a baby. Oh. Wow, that is awesome. Thank you. But wait, Charles, I thought you were sterile. Drop your weapon! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look! <laughs> what the hell? I still don't know why you dove in crotch first. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sperm. Guy going in after me was like, whoa, nice. Wow. He sounds like a gross dude. <laughs> Jesus. We send it to the DA, but do they process it right away? No, because they're overwhelmed because Deborah's on maternity leave. So your court date won't be set for six or eight weeks, and even then, you're going to have to block out the whole day because they don't give you a specific time. No, no. It's a window. Sir, <laughs> can I talk to you for a second? I thought we were going to try to scare him. There's nothing scarier than the realities of the municipal court system. Now, come on, let's get back in there and tell them about how bad the website is. <laughs> Look, I'll talk. No, what? Of course you will. But I'll only talk to her. Amy? You Gina? want to talk to Gina? Yeah, hi, do you sell purple pants? <laughs> All right, well, good day then. It's uh, not the turnout I was hoping for. Maybe I should have offered free strudel. Then at least Scully would have come. There's free strudel? What the hell He's you already holding. <laughs> <laughs> you better impress me if you want that recommendation to be good. I'm gonna try, Sarge. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, damn! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. oh my I'm God! So I'm so sorry! Give me a towel! <laughs> and that's what you get for lying about free strudel. Karma's a bitch. Get out of here, Scully! <laughs> damn, there's so much blood so quick. <laughs> Tagatha. 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 It was her all along. I have all of your sperm. But you don't even care about it, Eleanor. I mean, remember? Oh, hey, Charles. I'll never have a baby with you because I don't love you, and a child's not going to fix that. Oof. When we started doing the silly voice, I thought it was going to be more fun, but it wasn't. I hit some dumbass with my car. Now he's suing me. What I want is for you to use your badge and your gun to intimidate him into dropping the case. You have 48 hours to do so, or I'm gonna take your sperm and I'm gonna dump it into the East River and there will never be the possibility of a little pie-faced Charles Boyle Jr. Proud of it, it's me. I wonder why they broke up. Damn. I can't believe you signed this contract. Oh. The sperm is her legal possession. What? It also says that she, and I quote, owns your dignity. <laughs> you initialed right next to that. 
Why are you smiling? Because this is exactly what we've trained for. It's a hostage situation, and we're gonna bring your boys home. <laughs> bring your boys home. You divorced in 2010, she got the house, both cars, and 85% of your salary going forward. That's a typo, right? It is not. How did she get so much? My lawyer was Hercules. That's how they met. <laughs> Hey, Sergeant. How are you? Well, my baby cries at the side of my face now, <laughs> so that's great. I mean, she's a baby. She could be crying at anything. <laughs> nope. She pointed right at my nose and then threw up. <laughs> <laughs> it's due pretty soon. Well, I'm working on it. It's taking a little while because it's hard to concentrate. What, with all the agony? Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> it's laid on so thick. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, no! Get some cold water! No! No, don't! I am petrified of you! I am petrified of you. We can't help you out until we know that you actually have the samples. We need proof of life. I'd be happy to dump one of the containers out of the window. No, 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 don't do that. Please don't dump my sperm on us. Hello, ma'am. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Gina. Take a statement. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna get this guy to admit to crimes he hasn't even committed. No, that would be a huge problem. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I feel like you and me are really bonding. I'm ready to give you immunity. No, you're not. That's not happening. Gina, come out of there. Negative. The guy wanted to talk to a real person, not a cop. That's why he asked for me. Actually, I asked for you because we went to high school together. Steven Henderson, we made out once on the bus. I mean, do you not remember me? Uh... Eleanor. Jake. Charles. Okay, you just said your own name, bud. It's the only one left. No. <laughs> no I could just take a look. <laughs> Go for it! Hey, no! <laughs> you really think of that stupid? It's called a dummy cup. Dummy. And this is the other one. Or rather, it was the other one. No! Don't reach in! Oh. She shot a hostage. I really thought Boyle was gonna reach in. No! Not <laughs> for a spur. He might, I don't know. You see the guy with his crotch? I'm gonna go bully an old priest so I can get my sperm oh, back. He's a priest? Yeah. He's a 90 year old priest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking out for me. Yeah, friend. Handcuff you. No! Aha! Charles, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You're a hugger, not a shaker. It was yeah. the most painful thing I've ever done. And I've taken three of my grandparents off life support. How are you always in charge of that? Wait. Charles, <laughs> you wrote me a bad recommendation. Here's the letter that I sent. Amy Santiago is one of the finest detectives in my precinct. Nay, the entire NYPD. Oh. Yeah. I even used the word nay. The idea that you would question my integrity is so... Uh-oh. Uh I gotta oh, sneeze. No. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Hitchcock. Thank God. Thank up yourself to a car. Been there. What? No, Charles did this. Here, quick, hand me those keys. What will you give me for them? Seriously? What do you want? A dollar for a soda. Mine are all wet. Yes, obviously I'll oh. give you that. Bam! A soda only costs 75 cents, you fool. <laughs> See you later, sucker. Didn't even give him the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so wet? A whole lot of In 4,000 feet, stay straight. You interrupted the song for that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> father. I understand you were recently involved in an automobile accident with an Eleanor Horstweil. She came up onto the sidewalk and fractured my hip. You were a pedestrian? Are you technically a pedestrian if you're sitting on a bed? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, okay, I, I don't want to tell you to drop your suit against her, but I sure am getting sleepy. Don't do it, boy. Excuse me. Yawns are coming. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Jake. This is my best friend Charles. He's trying to have a baby. You get it. Come here, you. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> On a bench. 
me. He never taught me how to ride a bike. I had to learn how to shave from watching Home Alone. Makes sense. It's like Die Hard for kids. Plus, it is. I sent the recommendation letter to the wrong place. I thought you were applying to be a mentor, not a mentee. You thought I wanted to be a Sam, not a Sam? Are you insane? Well, you should be a Sam. No, I should be a Sam. We got to start saying something other than Sam because we are barreling toward a misunderstanding. Sergeant, I'm so sorry for ever questioning your integrity. Thank you so no, much. No, 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 stand back. Look, I'm still very scared of you. I got Steven to talk. Yeah, it's fantastic. How did you do it? Did you finally show him the municipal court website and the pull-down <laughs> menus you can't click on? No. <laughs> we complained about Gina for an hour, and then he opened up. Gave me the name of the guy who works for her. I have never been so insulted in my entire life. I'm not going to work cases for you guys anymore. We were never going to ask you to. <laughs> you just lost your best detective. I ran all the way to Eleanor's house to tell her off. What do you want, Chunk? To let you know you can keep my sperm. I don't need it. I'm in love, and I'm going to be a dad, and there's nothing you could do to stop me. So goodbye forever. Tell Hercules I'll see him at spin class on Sunday. Now goodbye. How do you guys feel? Great. We were looking at possible donors on the way over. <laughs> That's weird. That guy kind of looks like my dad. Wait a minute. That is my dad. Is you cannot dad. use his sperm. You cannot use his sperm. My son would be your brother. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, that's such a funny like. That's a great last second cut. My son, give me your brother. It's like he's trying to get it in before the show ends. You know? Yeah. Oh man, I remember they were going. Okay, some donors. When they came back, I'm like, man, he stormed off and just did stuff. Mm-hmm. Shooting dust. Because of the accident. Man. The accident. The accident. Why'd you dive in crotch first? <laughs> we gotta rewatch it. The, he dove in, I got that. He got hit once. But then the guy was just like, he was just fumbling. Yeah, I still okay. don't know why you dove in crotch first. Okay. He was fighting a cop, too. So when another cop jumped in, he just kept hitting, I guess. So. Jesus. <laughs> You should have, like, a ah! position or done anything other than just stand there. Just fine to think. With his legs wide. It's funny to think about them writing, like, uh, why is he sterile? It's like, he had an accident. What's the accident? I don't know. Some criminal just beating his junk with a baseball bat. Why would that happen? Shut up! It's a right <laughs> Like, it could have been, like, the director will figure it he could have been a skateboarder. You know? Yeah. Like, how many videos have you watched where skateboarders mess up something and they, bad. they're trying to rail and they yeah. rail, you know? Like, yeah, that's mm. terrible. They like come in at like 25 miles an hour and just bounce on their nuts. Oh man. Ooh. Like that would make you sterile, I feel like, you know? It got me when that was the situation. But then when it cut to that wide shot of just like, dong, 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 I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. Here in Rick's right, it was like the incident skit. Invincible. Invincible. Yeah. A lot of uh, physical comedy in this one. Uh -huh. I was laughing a lot with the whole, with the Boyle stuff and all the things going on there. Like, it's just so such a ridiculous situation. It is, like, right? It's a hostage situation. Sperm. For his own sperm. That he signed away along with his dignity. The, his dignity. And 85% of his paycheck going forward. Oh my god. Going like, forward. She, she doesn't even have any kids. Dude, I love, yeah, and I love the reasoning of like, <laughs> how did this happen? This has to be a typo. How did this happen? He's like, Hercules was my lawyer. <laughs> That's how they met. And he loves Hercules. They go to spin class together. I want to see Hercules. Dude, the, the 90 year old priest. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, He's a 90-year-old priest with a walker. He was. She came on the sidewalk and hit him on a bench. Are you technically a pedestrian if you're sitting on, on a bench. bench? That's such a good line. And then the breaking of Terry's nose, I thought was pretty funny, too. Really funny. It just, it just, it went from zero to 100 so quick. Yeah. You know, we're like, all right, you ready? I'll do this, and we're going to get it. And then just, bam! And then just blood, and then just like, jeez. Well, you're looking at it, and you're like, okay, how's she going to take him down? Yeah, and, and she knows how to pops him in the defend nose. herself. It's crazy. Yeah, no, I love the idea of, like, not only did he give away 85%, but he gave away the dignity. He initialed it. <laughs> and and he, initialed you initialed right it. beside it. We she, know he's she a, owns your dignity. I mean, we know he's such a people pleaser. Like, in the pictures of, like, their wedding and stuff, like, there's two pictures from their wedding, and she's like, There was one know? picture where they were, like, sitting, and it looked like they were both looking at the camera, and, like, she was just yeah. at least neutral, if yeah. not, like, ups, if not, like, happy. The rest, she was, like, Uninterested or frustrated. Like or when, they, they said they, when they said their vows, instead of saying, I do, she said, I suppose. 
Oh, man. I hoped, at least when this episode airs, if you went to, like, brooklyn99.com, it was oh, that website they were talking shitty about. Shitty website. I love the, the drop-down menus that don't <laughs> click or whatever it was. <laughs> the true horror Did is the me? municipal court system. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> tell them tell about the bad thing. We got to fill out a form. I got to talk. Did you tell him about the municipal court <clears throat> website? <laughs> it's like, it, it's, not, it's not a specific date. It's a window. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing, like this episode must have been good enough because we also have to talk about Holt doing a dance-off in the beginning. Yeah, yeah he did. That was a funny little moment. I thought they were going to go a little further with it, but they didn't. They were more so like, I got to capture this moment, and the comedy was like, well, oh my gosh, he's dancing. It's that Jake did. can't get yeah. the picture. Yeah. It's similar to whatever... Holt had the pictures of him hula hooping. Yeah. And then he erased him in front of Jake. No! <laughs> and then Boyle was like, no, oh, I have butterfingers because I was making butter earlier. <laughs> Curse my butterfingers because I was making butter. Why is my phone always dead? I paid $13. I paid $13 for, $13 for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's really good. Um, I mean, I guess it's good Boyle progressing towards not having to. I mean, it's going to be interesting him. Not being able to use his own sperm, but him finding... I like what Jake said, like, my dad was terrible. Yeah. You know, but this is going to be a way of being like, look, you can use my dad's... Using his own dad's sperm, but raising him as the father. Look, it's not your genetic, it's just your dad sucked raising you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they're really going to go that way, but if they do, I don't I don't know. It'd be crazy, like, <laughs> you're not his best friend, you're his brother. <laughs> it's even better, because it was non-negotiable. <laughs> you will be this baby's best friend. <laughs> It, it is taking it pretty far if you were to do that. I can like, see Boyle doing it, though. Like, Jake will have to double up on godfather duty, won't he? Probably. He's already godfather for Terry. <sighs> can he be a godfather for more than one kid? Probably, right. Are you guys a godfather for anyone? Mm. I'm a godfather to my no. nephew, Parker, but I'm an atheist. No, I don't think so. That's not how I that... I don't know if that... I don't think... <laughs> the godfather and, like... I'm living, living alive, baby! Yeah. Yeah, I get in video games. It's like if I'm the Godfather, I gotta give the best like presents, you know. I definitely gotta give better presents than my, my brother gives him, you know. So I always wait. Give him, who like, are you the Godfather of? Parker, and he's your ne- a nephew. So don't you just have to give him better things because you're like the cool uncle, right? Well, that. But I'm also the Godfather, so I just gotta make sure does that he I always the Godfather? have. No, he knows. Does he? Does he? Care? I remind him all the time. I'm like, I'm your Godfather. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um. Yeah, no. I, I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Gotcha. I don't think so either. My godmother gave me Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, on the PS2 before I had a PS2. Nice. They had just heard that I was getting a PS2, and I got that on Christmas Eve. I'm like, oh, this is great, but I don't have a PS2. My mom's like, yeah, well, I, that sucks, I said, but like, really, she's thinking... I thought you said your grandma gave you that as No, my, my, my godmother... My aunt godmother. Your did. aunt. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how I've heard the story. Yeah. You never said my your aunt. godmother. You she's she's your also aunt. my godmother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm like, you always said someone else gave you that. Yep. Okay. My godmother was also my great aunt. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a godmother, godfather. I didn't know people said that. Probably only because we were Catholic. Is that where it stems from? Generally. Is it? Yeah. Roman Catholic. They make godfathers? Is that how the godfather is the godfather and the godfather? It's Italian. It's, it's yeah, but it's, 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 I thought it was like a mafia thing, not like a Catholic thing. Maybe. I don't know. I've never seen it, so I have no idea. Yeah. I've seen it. Do you know? I what? can't remember. Yeah, anyway, I don't know. How Godfather comes to be. I, mean, I don't I don't know that they really go into the I mean, there's a ceremony on it, of it at the Catholic Church, so it has to stem from that. I'm just sure that the mob, like, took that from it, you know? Well, a lot of the mob is Italian, so they're Catholic, so probably just... Roman Catholic. Yeah. Maybe they, maybe he really was he really a godfather in the, in the movie? Mm. Probably. Maybe. I mean, his <laughs> daughter was getting married, right? Yeah, yeah but that's his daughter. That's, he's yeah, the so father. he's a father. He's we're, a halfway, we're already halfway there. He's is what I'm father. saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, my father. Dude, Boyle, speaking of fathers, he had to unplug three of his, his grandparents from ventilators. So this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Support. This is the most painful thing I've ever done, and I've taken three grandparents off life support. Why does it always fall to you? He said, "Like he has living parents." I, I want to hear the next conversation that that priest has, where he's yeah. trying to explain what happened. What happened? Yeah, this guy comes man. up. He's talking about sperm. Uh-huh. He gets shot in the back and drug away. Are you really a pedestrian when you 
you're sitting on a bench? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Gina part with her friend that they were interrogating or whatever, I honestly had forgotten about that part. I'm glad they went with... She was so bad that... Like, because when, when Rosa, when, yeah, when Diaz is like, no, let it happen, I'm like, where's she going? Because I couldn't remember. Like, where's she going with this? It's like, oh, she's so bad, he can then bond with her over how much they don't like her. No, the best thing about it was <laughs> them bonding over not liking Gina. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was not sure if they were going to do this thing where, like, sometimes Gina, like, you know. Achieves whatever. And achieves, she's incredibly clever whenever she's not being insufferable, <laughs> you know? No. But they didn't do that. I say most of that story beat wasn't that interesting to me but I do like that yeah they did that they yeah. they got the information because of the dislike for mm-hmm. Gina she called me Gina that's her name <laughs> and Scully and Hitchcock had two great moments too in this episode Dude, like he just like oh, you have what he just already has a fork and a bowl they make those they're guys such dicks. so stupid don't they they're so stupid and such dicks too it's not like they're even lovable stupid it's like the one guy is like, ha, you got what you deserve getting your nose broken. The other guy is like, I'm not giving you these unless you give me something first. But then he's so dumb that he's like, ha, I got you. 75 cents, I don't need a dollar. And he walks away. <laughs> he didn't even get a dollar. But then you also have, though, where uh, Scully was talking and he's like, wait, rejected or ejected? I've been rejected lots of times. You know, like that moment there was just him. And I kind of felt bad because he's like, actually, I have been ejected too as well. And he's like, this the amusement park. And wherever. And he's like, guys, put on the belt. And then, like, it's just him just talking. He's like, nice conversation, Amy. Bye. You know, and she didn't say a word to him. So I kind of feel bad for him at the same time because, like. He's thrown from a ride. It's kind of scary to think about. being ejected. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like, him, he's just, like, talking about his what's occurred and stuff. And Amy didn't care at all. But, I don't know, maybe they're dicks because no one cares about him. I think it's just that they've been there so long and they're so jaded that, like, they probably used to be good detectives, but they've just been there too long to care anymore. Because, like, when they really care, they're good. Sure. You know? They're trying to find that bathroom. They were very good detectives. I think they're just, like, they like where they're at now, you know? Just waiting for the pension to kick in. Priya would have kicked in. Yeah, maybe they messed it up a couple times or something. Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. All right. Um, that's about all I got for the episode. I do agree that boil oil is taking it too far. I would not use that. Oh, so he said that, and I sat here for a while. I was like, is there anything wrong with my name? Elliot. <laughs> I don't know. You, Elliot or Aaron. Or Aaron and yeah, nothing rhymes. I don't know. There's nothing there. You, I was like, I don't know why I'm doing this. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you him. can call yourself Baron Aaron. Baron You're Aaron. Infertile. Well, yeah, but I'm not infertile. That's the problem. Yeah, but he is, right? Yeah, I know. Like, that would be good if I was, but I'm not. You're definitely not Baron. No. Like, Rick would be like, Slick Rick. Slick doesn't really work. It's closer than Baron for you. Yeah, I guess uh, so, yeah. Uh, Eric. No kind of thing. It's hard to do. Like, it's like they made his name just for this episode. <laughs> Boy, you know? They You're planned right. it so well. Yeah. <laughs> what rhymes with... How else do you get that? That has to be words. one of the things that like we talked about the writing room earlier. Like, they're like, all right, what does he call it? And some, like, they're like silent for like 12 minutes, and someone's like, boil oil! And they're like, holy shit! And they leave. They're <laughs> done for the day. We're yeah. done. Yeah. That's yeah. All, we spent the whole time coming up with that. Exactly. <laughs> and the, the other writers that didn't come up are driving home like, why the fuck think about that? God damn it, you know? Uh, boil oil. Or they don't get to that, and they're riding home and like, fuck it, I guess we're going to go with that. That's what they got. And they're like, boil oil. I got it! And they turn <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine with us. If you want to see more episodes, you can over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, be a good viewer. Hit that subscribe button. That really helps us out, and you're never going to miss a video. Specifically, Brooklyn Nine-Nine.